Right, welcome back to another long play video, guys, from Wizbits Random Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Aliens, the arcade game. But before we get kicked off, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that bell. You're helping the channel out massively if you do so. Right, so this one um, was an arcade game that unfortunately never made its way to any home consoles. Um, it's one of those games that everyone would have loved to see on a console. The Super NES, the Mega Drive um, in the 16-bit era, most definitely. It was a lot of fun in the arcade. Um, they've taken a few creative liberties here with uh, Sigourney Weaver. They've made her blonde. <laughs> um, I know with this franchise in particular, there's always been a huge licensing issues. It's um, it's a money maker. So yeah, I would imagine it's been complicated at times when it comes to uh, image rights and stuff like that for this particular game. Or sorry, the franchise rather. But anyway, this one is essentially just um, side scrolling, shoot them up. Obviously not your shmup type shoot them up. But yeah, it's a beat em up essentially without the kicks and the punches. And one that was really, really well received uh, in the 90s when it came out. Now it's been a while since I've played through this. Uh, quite a while actually, so just trying to get to grips with it again. There's some great variation of Xenomorphs in this um, game as well. You know, as we go through it, you'll see that. And as always, prepare for plenty of death on my side, not just the aliens. Now obviously to make this a more creative game they've got to um, make various types of aliens and xenomorphs and stuff otherwise you'll just be fighting the same alien all over the place you know all over every level here we go typical xenomorphs coming at me here you can't have a whole game just through that and that's something I wish the alien franchise had done in a way um, they've tried lots of things over the years um, Alien, brilliant film, one of the best of all time. I personally prefer Aliens, and I totally understand if no one, uh, if some people don't agree with that, as Alien is a fantastic film. Alien 3, I wasn't a fan of when it came out, but I've grown to really enjoy it, and I do like what the people in the film were trying to achieve. The concept is good. You know, no weapons, and then all of a sudden you've got a, a xenomorph there. How do you take it out with no weapons? Then we had Alien 4. Was that um, Resurrection? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and forget about that one. And in all honesty, ever since then, as much as the franchise makes money, I think it's, it's never really lived up to um, its previous heights. You had the spin-off type prequel film, which the name of it escapes me right now, where it sort of showed the birth of the Xenomorph Xenomorphs. Um, and that was okay. But it was hyped up a lot. And uh, I only really enjoyed the last 15 to 20 minutes of it. The rest of it was sort of like two hours worth of getting to that particular point, if you know what I mean. And then we've had 
the Alien versus Predator films, which, you know what? The first Alien versus Predator film, considering the, uh, the rating it had, I think it was a 12A over here in the UK. It was as good as it probably could have got. And I think then was uh, Alien versus Predator, is it Requiem? Yeah, it's not often I turn a movie off before it finishes, but, you know, that one I did. Even though it was like only 20 minutes left, I'd had enough. It comes out with classic lines. I remember, I think the, the turning point of that film for me was hearing one of the really wooden actors in it chat out something like, you know, it was a really obvious thing, like, we need guns. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It was just... You know, it was a bad, bad movie. We've had a few since then. Very unmemorable films. and um, But the franchise lives on. It has its fans, and rightly so, because the concept behind it is a really good one, and the potential is always there. We've seen that from the first two films, most definitely. And, and in my opinion, the third. And with big money franchises comes video games. And Aliens has had an absolute shed load. My first experience uh, playing an Alien game was Aliens on the Amstrad CPC 464. And that was a good game. My, my young 10 or 11 year old head couldn't quite grasp how to get that far on it, but it was a good, good game. For the time. And see, this is a good example here. You've got uh, a Xenomorph, you know, not completely different from the standard one, but you know, it's nice to see a little bit of evolution. It really was a shame that this game never got a port to uh, home consoles. But thank God for MAME and uh, various arcade emulators, we still get to play it in this day and age. Now, admittedly, I haven't played a lot of the more recent Alien games. Um, is it Isolation and the new one, the military tactics type one? I haven't played any of them, but they are relatively cheap now. And um, if they're recommended to me, I'd quite happily give them a go. So what's your thoughts on those, guys? Um, what do you think of the more recent Alien games? I'll tell you what, he's taking some bullets, this guy. Come on, surely that's it now. Thank you. And look, that was only a mid-level boss. That's how long it is since I've played this. I was sitting here thinking this was going to be level three. And you've got to love that nice reference there to uh, aliens with those half corpse body type things, whatever they may be. One, one of me and my friends, we fiercely debate what one is the better one. He's adamant it's alien. I'm adamant it's aliens. Um, what's your thoughts on that one? Let us know in the comments, guys. There's no right or wrong, to be honest with you. They're both brilliant films. And these little blighters, straight out Splatterhouse.
Ah, the good old mech suit. Now I find I was better off without the mech suit. It's, it, it gets clumsy at some points. I mean, I'm doing okay with it here, to be fair. But I remember a couple of times, um, it just feels clumsy when you're fighting some of the bigger aliens. But it definitely does the job when you're taking out the minions. And now it's essential you learn to push the duck button on this one. Um, it took me level uh, through level one to forget, uh, remember rather that there was an actual button to duck. And it's nice little uh, Easter eggs like that, as you can see in the background, that made this one of them more memorable arcade experiences. It really stood out for the time and the era. If you went into an arcade. It was one of the games, that, similar to Alien vs Predator, that when you was in the arcade, you'd walk past it and you couldn't help but stop, have a look. And to be honest, if you didn't chuck your 20 pence in, I'd be very surprised if you didn't at least have a go on this one. Now uh, some sort of alien rave. Now this is a very uh, Contra inspired boss, I believe. Different uh, similarities, but that's okay. Video games rip each other off all the time. And if a big franchise like Aliens can't rip someone else off, it's been ripped off enough times over the years, then, you know, what's the world coming to? Tricky to get out of the way of that. See? Oh my god. It's like the world's worst Easter. And again, one of the good things about this game for its arcade style, it changes itself up from level to level. So you don't have to just keep playing the same kind of thing. You get these uh, little um, Operation Wolf style shoot 'em up to Cabal type levels. Um, and it's a good change of pace, you know. I really do miss the mid 90s, early 90s arcade experience. And it's one of the reasons I'll always go back to things like MAME and um, emulation for these types of things. It's not quite the same at home, I know that, but yeah, I just still like to relive those memories. It's, it's really sad now if you go into a, an arcade. Um, I mean, I go with my kids. We go down to your local seasides, sometimes the local Namcos. And don't get me wrong, they are still fun. But it's just not the same excitement and um, experience as it was when you had a whole row of coin ops next to each other from Golden Axe to Aliens, Aliens versus Predator. 
uh, Street Fighter 2, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, all them sort of games, Splatterhouse, you know, Simpsons, The Turtles. When you used to walk into an arcade and you saw all of those in and around one floor, and also, you know, games like WrestleFest. You know, you didn't know what ones to play and you know you'd be playing them all at some point, but it's like, wow, what a day you're going to have. You go in there now and it's kind of like, will I win a fake prime bottle? You know, how many tokens will I get? If I get 700 tokens during the course of the day, I might be able to claim a pack of Haribos. Uh, and whilst the kids love it, as a parent, it feels kind of soulless to myself. And my parents probably felt the same, to be honest with you, watching me spend pound after pound on these types of machines. But I can safely say there's a much better experience here. And I think most kids would agree. It's definitely more about the size of the machine in this day and age and the spectacle rather than the actual game inside. And these games are just coin munchers, you know. But I didn't mind. It wasn't sort of like you was throwing money in a machine in my eyes and, and gambling. You knew what you was getting. Look at that. How disappointed would you have been? You've just stuck your 20 pence in. 10 seconds late, your first life's gone. And now you're really up against it if you've got limited cash in your pocket. Got to love a flamethrower in any type of game, any type of game. Flamethrower's rule. Right, whilst I'm climbing down this ladder, just like I say thanks to everyone that watches the channel and that has recently subscribed. In fact, all of ev uh, everyone that's subscribed. We've just, in the short period of time that we've been on YouTube, we've just hit over 200 subscribers, which is great. Really happy with that and can't thank you all enough. Also just started um, a Twitter account, more so for awareness. Um, and you can find me at WizbitRG, and that's capital RG, at 
with this RJ. Or you can just type in Wizbits Random Gaming Twitter into your search engine and find me. <laughs> I'd imagine that's much easier. I'll be honest with you. I'm an old man now and Twitter is, uh, whilst it's not beyond me, I don't totally get it. You can also find me on TikTok at Tony Wisbit. Search me on there. Uh, on there, I just basically do random gaming shorts, just highlighting some random games. But you can also find them on this platform as well. YouTube is my preferred platform. It's what I've grown up with. Well, not grown up, but in this era, it's what I've used the most. And uh, it's what I enjoy the most. Oh, that was sneaky. Where did you come from? Now, I don't remember any aliens with wings in any of the films. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't have minded seeing that. It sounds stupid, I know, but we're talking about aliens, so how serious can we be? Jesus, they're fast. Now, thinking about it, now that I'm playing this, sure, Alien vs. Predator, another fantastic arcade game that never got ported home, not to my knowledge, not the arcade version anyway. Um, that's going to have to be one of my next uh, playthroughs, most definitely. I love that game. I do have a few um, games ready to go in terms of playthroughs that I've got lined up that I want to play. Um, some of the big hitters, The Simpsons Arcade, that's on the list. The Turtles Arcade, another one on the list. Cadillac and Dinosaurs, that's another one. But I do want to try and get a few obscure ones in there um, as time goes on. No, I tried that recently. I've just done um, Bells and Whistles. To be honest, it didn't go down that popular in terms of views, but that's fine. You know, you try these things, and to me, I still enjoyed making the video. It's a really good shoot 'em up, or cute 'em up, as we would call them back in the day. There's not enough of them out there now. See another quite creative uh, end of level boss here.
and one that, if I remember rightly, looks a lot more intimidating anyway than the actual final uh, boss of the entire game. Like I say, it's been a while since I've played it, um, but I don't believe the final boss is as big as what you've just seen. The old uh, gargoyle xenomorphs there taking me out. And it does get a bit frantic in places. As you can see, I've just died twice. In like, well, three times. There you go. In literally in the space of a minute. I mean, if this did actually get a uh, port to a Super Nintendo or a Mega Drive, I imagine it'd be really difficult to actually complete it. Because on those games, back in the 90s, you'd get like five continues and that sort of thing. They made you work for that ending. And um, if it was the gameplay was pretty much the same as this, then wow. Finishing this on five credits would have been some achievement. Well, for me anyway. I mean, look at that. That's not even an end of level boss. It might have been actually. Right, I believe this is your final boss. As you can see, not as big as the last one I was talking about, but yeah, still got <laughs> still got some oomph when they hit you. See, this is what I was saying earlier. When you're fighting the bosses and that, well, maybe it's just me, but the mech suit isn't as effective. Sure, I'm imagining it's taking quite a significant amount of their energy when you do connect. But look, I get battered inside it. Fighting from range does seem to work better. Although I'm, it's going to take longer. Of course, I'm going to continue... We're nearly there. What's that old saying in uh, wrestling? I went to the well once too often. Go on, it's open now. Time for you to float off out into uh, outer space.
Yeah, I'll, I'll try to be cheap there. I thought, let's get him with a few heavy blows. <laughs> that might finish it. Not quite. The amount of bullets I have hit this one with. Well, at least he's flashing. Which in video game terms we all know means they're near the end. Which tells you to put that other 20 pence in. Don't leave, don't leave. Yes, I've just killed you, but put another 20 pence in. You're really close. And yes, I would put another 20 pence in. Nice. Right, well, there you go. That is Aliens, the arcade game. As I said earlier, a fantastic game. One that, unfortunately, we never got to see on our home systems. But, you know, if you never tried this one out, fire MAME up, give it a go. I really don't think any one of you would be disappointed. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Guys, thanks for watching this long play. If you like the video, take the time, click the buttons as mentioned there in the screen. It'd be much appreciated. Everything helps towards the channel, the algorithm, the growth, um, and we will keep the videos coming. Until then, guys, you take care.